Hello, everyone. I'm Evren. Um, I am uh, the product director in uh, Google Cloud's uh, data analytics. I've been in the uh, data world almost all my career, and I've had the privilege of uh, working uh, with brilliant people like yourselves over the past five years uh, in Google and the, the, the Beam ecosystem. This is really exciting. I remember when we first came up with the idea of uh, Beam College, Oh, could we do it or not? And how can we pull it together? And here we are. Thousands have signed up from all over the world. And uh, as I was uh, reading up uh, the uh, names, this is exciting to see how uh, diverse this uh, group of people are and where you guys are joining. Thank you for all your efforts. So, I, you know, a lot of people ask me, hey, Aaron, why Beam? Why are you so excited about Beam? Uh, we have Spark, we have this, and I look, those are all long in the tooth capabilities, guys. Apache Beam, and I've been in data world for a long time, and look at me, I have no hair left. There's a reason for that. Apache Beam is the only data processing model that will help you with both your batch and streaming use cases. It's the only unified model. Think about that. The world is moving almost exclusively to real time. So you need these capabilities and no one has the time to do it twice. I know I used to lead a very, very large engineering and product management team back in my old days. And I didn't have the time to waste to do things twice. This is being able to achieve this without changing a line of code is impressive. And that can only be done with Beam. So you're part of this ecosystem. And it is thriving. Take a look at this. The past couple uh, years, we've been really uh, doing a bang up job in here. Always at the top of the projects. Huge developer interest. We're growing it. And I know when I talk to my team, hey, what do we need to do to get this thing to 10x in the ecosystem? We believe in openness. We believe in open systems. That's why Beam is here and we've contributed significantly. Take a look at the commuters. We're growing this ecosystem so significantly. The summit has already over 5,000 people. And we have a lot of case studies coming from across industries, some really, really, I can't keep up with it. I want to post all of them in my social media, but I can't keep up with them. It's so great to see all these things. The If you look at the numbers, the users, the developers, the ecosystem, it's all huge thanks to all of you. You're making this thing happen. It is striving and you're seeing the benefits. Keep up the good work, pull in your friends, pull in your relatives, make this thing happen. Now, this is the second Beam College. Can you believe that? We started this last year. I know we're amateurs. I know we're all volunteers in this thing, but it is a training for everyone, it was so nice to see the demand coming from the developer community. This is all about for you and the members of the ecosystem to learn about this advanced data processing concepts. What is happening? How are we achieving these uh, data processing capabilities for both batch and streaming? And how does Beam help? What does the universal framework mean? What does it mean for you? Lots of contents. Now, this is scary, 12 hours of content, three days in a row, but I know you'll have fun. I know there's going to be a whole bunch of things going on in here. Like if, if I were in my developer days, this is where I would spend every hour. What you learn in here will separate you from the crowds in your work, what you're doing day in, day out. You can read all about this. You will learn more about the data movement ecosystem and what's happening and how is the beam changing this? How do you scale, productionize? How do you develop beam pipelines? These are all hands on. And what does it mean for the machine learning use cases? Lots of opportunity for you to try it out, get your hands dirty and improve and go back to your daily jobs and do even more. Tons of content, as I mentioned, but you have to try it. That's the best way to do it. Such an environment we're creating in here. You get your hands dirty, lots of code samples, build it, share it, 
tell your friends, tell the social media, ask questions, connect with the community, connect with all of us, connect with me in LinkedIn. It is all about ecosystem. We love this. We love all of you guys. Thank you for joining us. We have a very uh, vivid vision for our future. We really love the uh, platform. We really love what we're doing here as an ecosystem together. It's all about making it easier. How do you get started with Beam? And my challenge has always been to everyone. My mother, who's, by the way, very good. If my mother can start with Beam, anyone can start. You need this playground. You need the easier documentations, easy to follow examples. That's what we need to strive for so that you can actually make this viral altogether. New transformations, we're working on those. New IO connectors, lots of sinks and sources. So make it all happen. If you don't have it, and if you know how to do it, do it, contribute. Everyone will use it. This is how the ecosystem grows. Build more resources. It's all up to us. Real world use cases. We encourage everyone. There's not a day that goes by that we're not seeing some really interesting use cases. Bring in those uh, stories, customer stories, use cases. I will help you personally amplify your own story, however we can, in the social media, in the world, so that you are in the pedestal, you are shining. Some housekeeping announcements. Join the Slack channel. That's your way to really communicate with everybody. You already heard about the GitHub repo. This is where all the code samples, everything, slides, everything you can think of is all going to be there. We have the YouTube channel up. That's going to be there. Here's the link for you. And you can actually uh, take a uh, copy of my slides in here and give us the feedback. Share at the end of each day, at the end of uh, the sessions. Let us know how we're doing. We read every single one of those feedback and then we try to make it better because with your feedback, we learn what it is that we need to be doing better for next year. This is going to grow. This is going to get better.